Gibson in the middle and Sam Swift. So here they are coming around pylon six, coming towards home pylon. You're going to see a green flag up, and this is the start of the race. So that looks like Scott Thompson in the lead in second chance with John D'Alessandro in second place with uh, Scott um, Sam Swift coming in third, Eric Zine fourth, Dave Roloff's fifth, Tony Higgins sixth, and we have Bron Brian Hoover is, oh, Alan Hoover is coming in at the end of that tail end, Charlie. Alan is the dad. Brian's the, the son. So okay. Alan's Again, we're going, today. we're going six laps. We're going uh, just under 19 miles total. It will not take a long time. And again, this is the top class, the gold class of biplane, biplane racing. Right now, Scott Thompson in the lead, race 66. Absolutely. Scott Thompson just finished that airplane. It got uh, hit his airport. Jeff Rose and Eric uh, all got together and took extra parts. And they all built this airplane. And that's why it's called Second Hand. So we have third place. There's Eric Zine. He's the vice president of the biplane class. Excellent pilot. Great guy. He's in third right now. Coming around completing wrap number, uh, lap number one is Eric Zine. Looks like fourth. Getting. Yep. Back to the leader. Yeah, that would be Scott Thompson from outside of Sacramento. He used to be a U-2 pilot in the United States Air Force. Quite a story behind that plane, oh, huh? Big time. It's so funny to just see it and there's like, oh yeah, we got the gear from such and such, we got the canopy <laughs> from so and so, but they've made it work. They need a little paint to make it pretty, but yeah. it looks good. That's why they call it second hand. I know, I love that name. Good choice. And that would be, on the screen right now, that would be our Sam Swift, number three in... They say it's important for a man to know his limitations, so I know I'm standing... That's fourth and fifth place where we so found Sam Smith right there. So we talked earlier about this, about all the red airplanes in the floor, in the biplane class, all the red pitses, and it's, it starts getting a little hard. But you can see the three on the lower wing, so you know that's Sam Swift right there. They're 66. That's Scott Thompson one more time. There's Scott Thompson again, your leader. Got off to a good start here. Really pulling ahead of the crowd. And he is uh, increasing his lead over There's race 18, John D'Alessandris. There's Sam Swift one more time, number three. behind the machine? The people working on the equipment. Well, that we only would sell the be the checkerboards on the bottom. That's another reason. So, sum it up. That's still, Power, that's still Scott, or Sam Swift. Okay, so, this is the third lap. We have a six-lap race, three and a half miles per lap. It's red pits and then a red pits, but there's our leader, Scott Thompson. But you know what? John D'Alessandro is making it interesting here. Absolutely. He was uh, the second post position here. It was going to be first post. Well, actually, he's the first post well, position. Andrew that's Bueller was fresh. One. That's Tony Higa. Oh, well, look at this one. And that's Alan Hoover catching up on him on the back of the course. Tony Higa has a tendency to fly pretty low, so... And then ha Alan Hoover is also a military, uh, retired military. Tony Higa is one of our Japanese competitors. He's an uh, air, aircraft me uh, mechanic out of Redlands, California now. Race 31 and 32 in that uh, showdown near the back of the pack there. It's good racing all the way through these uh, seven competitors here. If you got a chance to see that, Alan Hoover was getting rocked a little bit by some bad air. That's You see him going up here a little bit. That's because he was getting some dirty air from uh, Tony Higa's airplane. The props put off a little bit of uh, turbulence for sure. us, and it makes it a little messy for us. A little rough and ready out there today. Yeah. <laughs> these guys are racing see, hard. Alan was like, that's enough of that. I'm going to move up a little bit. Yeah, why not? Exactly. And that's our second chance. That's our leader right now. That's uh, Scott Thompson. There he is. Scott Thompson getting ready for lap number five. This is, this is it, lap five. Still holding his lead ahead of race 18, John D'Alessandris. Quite a lead. Some, we talked about this earlier this morning. Sometimes the best racing is not for the first place. And this one is quite interesting with Tony Higgins and Alan Hoover. Yeah, Alan is just getting rocked. See how much his wings are moving oh, around? Oh, yeah. Boy, he's having a rough ride back there. I still would have pulled up. I'm just, you know... Dirty air, not fun. Dirt, no, not at all. No. That's why you buckle in pretty tight. And it's no, fun to, it's no fun to fly through, and it's not, it's not, doesn't make you more competitive. I'd rather go up a little bit higher. Man, these guys, 50 foot is oh, the minimum. Boy, that's, it's so embarrassing to watch that. I feel like so bad for him. Oh. And this is Scott Thompson coming in. This will be white flag. White flag, white flag. Number 66 coming across the home pylon right now. He's got his white flag. This is the last lap. Scott Thompson. 
And then John D'Alessandro, who's a local boy here, has a big old hanger here. Great guy. And the excitement keep, keeps going with Tony Higa and Alan Hoover. These two qualified in seven and eight post position, so they uh, started at the back of the pack here, and they're, they're getting all the racing they want today, yeah. for sure. They're getting their money's worth. It's funny, there's, so, there's very little uh, difference between the back of the gold and the front of the silver, but the front of the silver has a cleaner race than the back of the gold. Good point. You can see poor Alan. And they're finally going across the home pylon. Here comes our, here comes all our right. leader. This race is almost over. Six. We are in the final lap. Getting ready for the checkered flag, and boy, it is Scott Thompson all the way. It's an amazing airplane. Checkered flag, checkered flag. Second place is going to be your local John D'Alessandro in number 18. Could never get much traction on Scott Thompson right there. Not Scott at Thompson all. with a masterful race. No here comes a pass problem coming at around. All. Back here, we've got Sam Swift and Eric Zine. Eric Zine really in the yellow plane. It. Again, Sam Swift is going to win this one. Looks like Sam Swift's got it, but I've been wrong before. Well, we've been we've been changed at the very end yes, before too. And it's always definitely. that yellow airplane. And that comes almost up. Eric Zine oh. tried to run it down, didn't get it done. Oh, sorry. That was, there's Dave Roloffs right there. That's race eleven right there. He had a nice quiet race. No one to race him, but these two have been. Here's battling our battle. The Who's going to finish? It's like in Tony the cellar Higa here. and Alan Hoover. That's an amazing race. That's a lot of fun. So that was that was for the last for the last place, but it was just 